In this video, let's discuss the top five sexiest fragrances that I own that I think you should as well. Giving very elevated, giving diamonds and pearls. It's just giving money. I be ODing. I be like, let me give a little spritz again, spritz again, spritz again. I was in customs, spritzing again, spritzing again. Girl, I was like, you y'all gonna get this scent, okay? Y'all gonna get this scent. I have to say this was so difficult to do because there are so many that I like and I love a warm, woody, you know, patchouli type fragrance, but I kept those out of this assortment of five because I was trying to choose fragrances that I think would be easy blind buys that would appeal to a wider audience than some of the more niche, daring fragrances that I have. So we'll get we'll get to that in a different video. But in this video, let's discuss the top five sexiest fragrances that I own that I think you should as well. So if you're not already following on all socials, make sure you're doing that. The first one, and these are really in no particular order, except the two that I mentioned in the beginning are two of my most newest acquisitions. This first one is Creed Aventus for her. She is gorgeous, okay? She's my first Creed fragrance. I have been hearing so much about her on social, obviously, like, don't we all, right? And I know that there are a few of the Creed men's fragrances that are really, really good. In fact, Imperial, the, uh, the gold bottle, I smelled it. It is fantastic. And I can't think of the others, but this one is just so good. So I was in Saks with my girlfriend and we stopped by the fragrance section because if you're in Saks or Neiman's, why not, right? And I knew that I had heard a lot about this, hadn't ever smelled it, wanted to get my nose on it. So we had the woman give us a spritz and spray and I was just there really waffling between this and my next one. I'll get to that in a second. God, this is just so good. It smells sophisticated, grown and sexy. So it's a fresh floral, okay? It's got Egyptian green apple. I do smell the apple. Apple, pink berries, Indonesian patchouli, love me some patchouli, honey, Italian bergamot, those are the top notes. And then in the middle, oh my God, this is so good. The more I smell it, the more I am in love. In the middle, we have Bulgarian and Turkish roses, Indian sandalwood, Styrax, Styrax, okay, musk and base notes. You got sweet peach, cassis, lilac, amber, and ylang lang. This is so stinking good. Yeah, like with each sniff, I am smelling something different. And it is so sophisticated and sexy. I could consider this a safe blind buy, although it is pricey. So you might not want to just splurge on a $450 fragrance without smelling it first. You know what I'm saying? So when I smelled it, I was like, yes, this is definitely, like I said, grown and sexy, sweet, fresh, floral. Yes, but very grown and sexy and mature. This is a good one. I just love it so much. You need to have this one in your stash. This is Creed Aventus for her. If you have this, let me know if you smelled it and love it. Also comment and let me know. So while I was at the Saks Council, like I said, I was smelling some other fragrances. So a new fragrance that I smell while I was there is Creed Windflowers. This is so good. Not only is the bottle beautiful, light pink, it's the aesthetics for me, right? Just blows me away. I was so taken aback by this and Aventus for her. So because they're both very expensive, I was like, which one do I want? Well, I ended up buying both. Not that day. I had to sleep on, I got some samples. And even as I'm moving my hands, I'm smelling this one. Definitely a fresh floral scent as well. Wow. I feel like this one would be more easily accepted versus Creed Aventus for her. So they're both great, right? But I feel like this is so fresh and floral that it'd be an easier blind buy is what I mean by that. So top notes are Jasmine, Orange Blossom, and Peach. Then we have middle notes of Jasmine Samba. Samba, is that how you say it? Tuberose, Absolute, Rose, Centifolia. And then base notes, Iris, Orange Blossom, Tunisia, Musk, Sandalwood, ooh, and Praline. Just yes, you know? It's floral, it's fresh, they're both pricey like I said, but so, so good. Sexy, grown, if you wanna level up into those expensive, long lasting, not as common type fragrances, these are great. You may feel like these fragrances are so common because we all talk about them on social, but the fact remains in your real life, how many people in your real life are wearing events for her? I don't even, I don't know anyone who is wearing these. Now, I don't know everyone in the whole world, but I'm just saying, right? So I want you to be mindful and not let social media make you feel like, oh, everyone's wearing that. 
everyone has that. I could be wrong, but comment and let me know. I still love these and I'm glad I got them because I'm never gonna allow social to make me feel like, oh, I'm late to the game or everyone has those or I don't wanna get that because everyone got it. Like, I'm gonna I'm always do me, you feel what I'm saying? Another one that I have grown to love, it was a blind buy also. This is Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. This is the Eau de Parfum. I didn't realize there was a Le Privé and all that stuff. I just got this one. I like it. It is light. It is delicious. I feel like this is an easy blind buy. I bought it blind. Again, giving grown and sexy, giving very elevated, giving diamonds and pearls. It's just giving money, you know? All of these are giving money. This is more affordable than the Creed ones at 146 for 3.4. And it's a warm floral. Let me a good floral. You know that already. It's got orange patchouli. I love patchouli, honey. Oh, I love patchouli, okay? Turkish rose, you know, got some themes throughout these fragrances thus far. Irresistibly sexy, impressively spirited, says Chanel, hello? It's a sparkling, it does feel sparkling, like a champagne. Ambery fragrance that recalls a daring young Coco Chanel. I love this so much. And you saw in a different video my Chanel haul, I have the travel version that goes in my purse. This is just so good. It's so fresh and light that I found myself when I wore this to go to Cancun, spraying it again and again. Again, Cause I felt like it's so light and fresh. If I spray some more, it won't overpower anybody. And you know how sometimes after a while you can't smell yourself, but others can. I be ODing. I be like, let me give a little spritz again, spritz again, spritz again. I was in customs, spritzing again, spritzing again, girl. I was like, you y'all gonna get this scent, okay? Y'all gonna get this scent. Cup force off fire, hell high water. Y'all gonna get this scent. And they sure did. You feel what I'm saying? This is so so sexy and light and sweet and floral. It is delicious. I like this. This is another. Another, in my opinion, great blind buy. If you love a good floral, it's a warm floral, as I said. I just think this is so, so delicious. And that was Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Another warm floral that I was taken aback by when I was in, this was, was it Saks? Or, I think it was Saks, yeah. Some time ago, honey. Me and my girlfriend went in Saks, smelling some fragrances, and this took me, it knocked me off my feet. And at that time, I wasn't ready to make no fragrance purchase. So I made a note and was like, I'm gonna come around to you, you know what I'm saying? And then in the Sephora sale, I picked this up. I had to get the big bottle. You know, if I love the fragrance, I'm going for a 3.4, you know? I just know that I'm gonna wear it down. And I, I mean, she's still new, okay? She's still fresh, so we haven't done much to her. Even just spraying the stick, and, I, and I'm just going like this. This is different. This is sweet. It's giving me almost Burberry Her Elixir, but not yet. I love it. It's got Grasse Rose, Grasse? Well, how do you say that? You know, my accent, honey. And red berries. I can smell the the berries. It's giving delicious fruit and not in a playful manner. I don't want you to think that this smells like a fruit basket for children. No, just sexy and delicious. Honest to God. I love the bottle. It's beautiful. It's Dior. Hello. You know, it's a fresh floral. It's a bright and colorful fragrance, says Dior. The fragrance is a floral delight you will return to over and over. It is very, very true. It's tangy and it's got white musk notes in it. I think this is so sexy and elegant. It is true. I like all of these, okay? To me, again, these are my top. If you really change me down. My top sexiest fragrances that I feel you should have in your wardrobe because you can reach for from in my opinion again this is all based on personal opinion it's subjective. I would reach for any of these for any occasion. You know me I wear fragrance morning noon and night it doesn't matter to me. Feel what I'm saying? And I just think that this is one that you have to add to your collection. If you have this love it hate it comment and let me know because I want to know. And last but not least you know we all know and love MFK Gentle Fluidity gold. I have torn her apart, okay? She is on her way out. I contemplated getting another bottle during the sales. I had my eyes set on Creed, so I had to just put her aside for a second. I have worn this out. This is so freaking good. It's a musky, ambery fragrance. You know that Zara had, look at me. As I'm talking, I, can I can't even get to what I'm saying without it just blessing my nose. My God, today. You know Zara has the, the dupe, what was it called? And I put it on today too, I forget the name. Comment and let me know what, what it is and if it's still at Zara. But this is so so good, obviously pricey. Yes, we get it, lasts so freaking long. I think that this is a safe blind buy. If you like an ambery fragrance, it's got juniper berries. It's reminding me of another fragrance in my list here. Juniper berries oil, nutmeg oil. Wow, coriander seeds oil, musks, ambery woods, and a vanilla blend. This is so stinking good. It's sexy, kind of soft, but really powerful as well. This is long lasting. This is giving money. 
you know? I would say that Coco Mademoiselle is more light and fresh, whereas this is a little bit spicy, kind of in your face, but in the softest, most delicate way. It's, a, it's floral, it's got spices to it. I love this, I really do. If you love what MFK does with their fragrances, you'll love this. I mean, now I haven't smelled every single MFK fragrance, but from the ones that I've smelled, they're very unique. And this one is certainly unique with all the different notes that are in it. This is really, really good too. I can't say enough. Again, these are my top five sexiest fragrances that I think that you should have in your stash. Granted, I've got almost a hundred fragrances. So like I said, this was a little bit difficult, but I love these fragrances. I want you to comment below and let me know if you have any of them, love them. Would you add any others? Would you replace any? I wanna know. I'm gonna leave two videos for you to choose from to watch. So watch another video of mine. Don't go too far and I will see you in my next video. Bye.